Brody lifted his nose to the breeze. Ah, uh, smell that? His brother, Kalin, wrinkled his nose. Smell what? Brody flapped the front of his kilt and grinned. Freedom! He playfully rolled the R in a brogue he hadn't really spoken in many, many decades. Kalin groaned and rolled his brown eyes. I've never seen a guy who enjoys going kilt commando as much as you do. The first annual Arcadia Highland Games were in full swing. Apparently, so were Brody's nether regions. Why the hell don't you wear a kilt every day if you love it so much? Kalen teased. Because I don't like getting into fights with redneck assholes at the stockyards and auctions who call it a skirt. Brody took another swig from his beer. Where the hell did Ain get to? I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was helping Mark set up the heavy games. The two youngest of the Lyle triplets studied the crowd. Doesn't seem the same, does it? Brody asked. What? He shrugged. Not like the real thing. It's Florida, in July. What the fuck you think it's supposed to be like, Edinburgh? Kalen quipped. I wanted to settle in Oregon when we decided to leave Maine. No, you two assholes decided to move down here. Oh, come on, Kale. You're the one who talked Ain into moving to the States in the first place when we left Scotland. I would have been happy going to Australia, Brody griped. You know what they had in Australia back then? Kangaroos, koalas, crocodiles, and convicts. You try mating with one of those options. Be my guest, asshole. Brody was always sullen when he had a couple of drinks in him and hadn't been laid in a few weeks. He finished his beer and tossed the plastic cup into a nearby trash barrel. Asshole, he grumbled. Kalen tried to rein in his irritation. Do us all a favor, Brody. Go find some chick, get laid, and don't come home until you do. Brody was the middle boy, middle being relative. Only 15 minutes separated Kalen and Andreas, the oldest. But those 15 minutes were the difference between Ain being prime alpha and Kalen being the gamma alpha. Beta alpha Brody's mercurial mood swung between the two extremes. From Kale's laid-back contemplative style, to Ain's sometimes intense, kick-ass tood. Usually, Brody was more brawn than brain, their resident bonehead, which was why Kale got stuck doing the bookkeeping for the ranch. The Lyle boys were identical alpha triplets, except for their eyes. Andreas had piercing gray eyes, while Brody's green gaze charmed quite a few ladies. Kale's sweet brown eyes rarely failed to get him a girl, when he could get away from the ranch. They all had jet black hair, as of yet untouched by gray. Not bad, considering they'd celebrated their 238th birthday that past May, and didn't look a day over 30. Brody scanned the crowd. Most of these chicks are either married or jailbait. He snorted. Or they fell out of an ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Aelin was sick of Brody's persistent whiny bitching. I'm going to find Ain, he grumbled. Unlike Brody, he wore tidy whities under his kilt, as did Andreas. He pushed off from the light pole he was leaning against and headed toward the competition area. He heard Brody behind him. Wait for me, jerk. Kalen didn't slow his pace. It was freaking hot, and he was sick of his brother. Both of them, actually. You didn't hear him grousing. He sucked it up. He didn't look around as he made his way through the crowd, his mind running in a way he wished his body could.